Okay, let's show you how to use the timer mode. Uh, for this, I'm going to just use a single two wire actuator. Doesn't have feedback, um, it's just to demonstrate it. There's timer operation, click that, interval mode or time mode. So let's set interval mode. And this is where you set it to extend for a certain amount of time and then wait until it retracts and, um, and give it a certain amount of time before it retracts. So the delay until it extends, so here we'll say 10 seconds. So you just change it here, 10 seconds. Uh, whoops, undo, 10 seconds, save. And then delay until retract. So it's right now it's set to 10 seconds, but let's change that to, so it goes zero, zero, let's change it to 15 seconds. So zero, zero, one, five. So now it'll wait 10 seconds to extend and then 15 seconds to retract. So save that. So then you have to now enable that timer interval mode. It's not enabled yet. So you go to uh, engage or disable the mode. So we'll go there. Uh, we're not using any of the timers. We're using this interval mode. So you highlight that one. So it gets highlighted in yellow. And then you press back twice, back, and, and it shows at the top of the screen here, it says interval one, and now it's already started, it's counting down, it's counting to 10 seconds. Now it's gonna extend, and then it'll wait before it retracts again. Any second now, it should start retracting, there we go. But remember, the interval mode when you're using non-feedback actuators, so two wire actuators, it doesn't know when the actuator is at the end of the stroke. So therefore, you have to account for the time it takes for an actuator to extend and retract before it, um, uh, and, and include that as part of the timing. If you use a feedback actuator, it's different. It will wait till it gets to the end of the stroke and then start counting. So let's abort this operator, oops, let's abort this option and show you the other. First we disengage that one, and now I'll show you time mode. In timer mode, so let's set what timer mode, you can set it to come on at a certain time of day, so in this case it's set to extend at 9 a.m., so it would, at 9 a.m. it would just automatically open and close. Great if you're opening, say, a, a cat flap or something like that, save. And then it's set to retract at a certain at 10 a.m. So close a door at, at say 10 a.m. And you can change the day, the days of the week you also want it to, um, to operate at. Save that. And then, and you can set up to, so you can see you can set up to five different times. So we just have the one time. So then you have to remember to go to enable, disable. So you enable it here. You highlight the number of ones timers you want to uh, to actually engage. Right now, it's just set to the, the one. Um, and then you go back and back twice. And that way it says timer one. If you have different time modes set, so let's say, um, oh, they're already saved. So let's save that, let's save that. Um, you want to engage different ones you just highlight them all here and then when you go back twice it will show you look so here it says timers one two three four and five are all engaged and now uh, they're all gonna just run automatically you can just forget about the controller and just let it run all day long but you can still you can still operate it manually if you want so you can still operate the actuator independently if you want to bypass the timer but it's still in timer mode, as you can see, it's still running.